Okay, we're gonna look at solving um, radical equations graphically, and we're also gonna review how to solve them algebraically here. So we've learned how to solve them algebraically in grade 11, um, plus when we've been kind of working with even intercepts, we've done that a little bit. So let's also look at solving them graphically. So we're gonna start though, given the following equations, um, square root of x plus five minus three equals zero. We're gonna solve it algebraically first and then state the restrictions. So just, I wrote the steps here and you can, you'll wanna write them down. So as isolate the radical as your first step, then you're gonna square both sides and that's gonna clear off that radical sign. Then you can solve for the variable and we have to remember to check for extraneous roots. Even if the question doesn't say check your answer, you have to check to see if that's part of the solution. So we will do that. Okay, so isolate the radical first means I'm gonna move this three to the other side. So I'm gonna have the square root of x plus five equals three. Then I'm going to square both sides. So I'm gonna square this side, square this side. So we have x plus five equals nine. Then I'm gonna move the five to the other side. X is equal to four. Now. I need to know for sure if that is going to work when I substitute it back in, because otherwise it could be an extraneous root, which would be mean we would cross that out. So to check it, you're gonna plug four back into your original equation, so with the radical. So four plus five minus three equals zero. So we get the square root of nine minus three equals zero. Three minus three equals zero, zero equals zero. You would need to show your check. That's worth, that's part of the solving process. You're gonna get marks for that. Okay, so since this left side worked out to the right side, you go back and clearly circle that or something. Make sure that that's clear that that's your solution. This question also asks for the restriction, so we'll put that in as well. If it didn't ask for it, then you don't, wouldn't necessarily have to. The restriction is anything underneath the radical sign must be positive, so that we'd set it greater than or equal to zero. Move x, or sorry, isolate x, so move five to the other side x is greater than or equal to negative five. Notice four does also fall into that. Four is greater than negative five. 